Say hi from Cherish Math. This is the question. The red line with length of 2 is perpendicular with the common base of 3 semicircles. Find the area of the shaded region. Let's make the radius of the smallest semicircle here as R1 and R2 as the radius of the middle semicircle. For the diameter, of the smallest semicircle is 2 r1 and the diameter of the middle semicircle is 2 r2 for the radius of the largest semicircle that would be 2 r1 plus 2 r2 divided the whole thing by 2 and it is r1 plus r2 for the area of the shaded region, I'm going to use the entire area of the largest semicircle minus the two white space of the smallest and the middle semicircles. Now, let me expand the equation here. That would be 1 half pi r1 square plus 2 multiplied r1 R2 plus R2 square. And this part I'm going to repeat. In the next step, I'm going to simplify the equation. This part is gone, and same with this part. Now, what left here is pi R1 R2 as the area of the shaded region. For the next thing to do, let me clean up this part in order to extend the semicircles into full circles. For the entire of full circles, and this is how it looks like. In the next step, I'm going to use the Cobb theorem to solve the problem. And let me explain how it looks. When two cards intersect as shown, then A times B is equal to the C times D. By using this theorem on this diagram, and we are going to get when 2 multiplied with 2, that is equal to 2 R1 multiplied 2 R2. Let me simplify the thing. So the value of R1 times R2 is equal 1. By substituting the value R1 times R2 as 1 into the equation of this area of the shaded region, the value of the area I'm going to get here is pi unit square. And I solved the puzzle. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.